How often do you get to fly a remote control plane? Well, for a group of people in the Singapore Air Force, they do it almost every day. Meet the pilots of the Searcher Unmanned Aerial Vehicle or UAV. To be an external pilot in this UAV community, it is actually very challenging because we are very different from uh, those uh, manned platform pilots. We're looking at aircraft from ground to, to the air till it landed. Every takeoff, every landing, there's always a new challenge. Uh, what I love most on my job is the feeling of satisfaction at the end of every successful mission. That is when I feel a sense of pride in whatever I do. Measuring 5 metres in length, the UAV is probably the biggest remote control plane I've ever seen. To make this huge bird fly, it takes one external pilot and three more internal crew members. Staff Sergeant Pei here is the external pilot. He's the one to take off and land the aircraft. It is the deployment site whereby the external pilot will take off and land the aircraft. Okay, over here what we have is uh, the control box that we uh, use for taking off and landing the aircraft. With the searcher in the air, the game of hide and seek now begins and the responsibility of flying this aircraft now lies in the hands of another group of pilots. While all three of them are UAV pilots, they have different roles to play. Captain Sylvia here is the mission commander. She heads the crew of four, including the external pilot you saw earlier. The crew also includes an internal pilot, who flies the UAV in the best profile to support the payload operator who controls the camera on the UAV. Okay, so the main objective of the central UAV is to detect, seek, locate and track targets in the area of operations. Okay, with this information or the imagery products that we have gathered, we will be come down to the ground commanders to assist them in enhancing their decision making processes in the better field. The searcher UAV can carry out its operations even in the darkness of night. But for the external pilots, taking off and landing the aircraft becomes a greater challenge. The main challenge at night is that you can't see the aircraft profile at all. Okay? The way to overcome this is to train to use the navigational lights of the aircraft as well as the runway lights as a gauge for us to land the aircraft basically. With an aircraft like the searcher up in the air, the Singapore Armed Forces is able to collect valuable information without the risk of human lives. And making all that possible are the engineers and pilots, whose dedication ensures the operational readiness of the searcher UAV.